Okay, guys, and we're back with round two. This is Sal TV. You are watching Salamancer casting Desolation Angels against Knights of the Apocalypse. Desolation Angels um, took a long time to cap the first um, uh, the first couple of points there, and so they gave about 16 or 17 minutes in the first half to Knights of the Apocalypse. But um, Knights of the Apocalypse just ended up uh, not being able to push into the last point. They did a really good job of pushing into the first, but the last... Um, Last point, they just kind of crumbled there at the very end, especially to some superior sniping coming in from, uh, I think it was Nova, Nova Mode from, um, no, I'm sorry, other way around, Nova Mode from, yeah, I'm right, from Desolation Angels. It's just that KA is showing up on red right now for some reason, but of course they're not red. KA is in blue right now. Desolation Angels is on defense first. <coughs> that is how these are played. So we're probably going to see another long round here, guys. Um, and we're going to have to see if Knights of the Apocalypse can do a better job putting together that offense. Um, so here we go. They're, they're getting ready to push out now. Of course, uh, Ringleader standing here in a pretty forward position, but of course he wants to keep his sniper up as long as possible. <coughs> a good attempt at a jump in there by Collide, but of course there are people standing directly on the cap, so that's not going to work very well. <coughs> and the push is coming along the right-hand side. They are getting ready to Uber in, I think. As, as, uh, they want to hold on to it for as long as possible. Finally, that spy is found out, but here comes the Uber on the right-hand side. Um, okay, so Sentry could go down here. Um, it's it's being wrangled, but there you go. Sentry, it was a little bit too late, not being repped very well, so the Sentry is down. Uh, the Uber Heavy, though, is, uh, of course, a very, very formidable opponent. Um, you, you deal a lot of damage as a Heavy, and, and even when you're not Ubered, you thought Ubered, you deal a lot of damage. But, of course, uh, when you are Ubered, you don't take any damage, and that's really nice. So... Oh, wow, looks like the point is, is completely clear here, but sadly, that soldier did not have the intel on his back. So he could have actually capped it very, very quickly there, but uh, it was not meant to be. Finally, they, they pick up that intel once again. Oh, good headshot there by Nova Mode, however. Nova Mode getting some pretty crazy headshots all game long and uh, just shutting down Knights of the Apocalypse here on this first point. Now, KA does a very good job here, of course, of pushing into this hallway. Um, and so far they've dealt a lot of damage, but this time they got some good sticky spam coming in here from uh, Chris. So Chris, of course, is a very good demo man here for Desolation Angels. Got some good DM skills and everything else. Uh, uh, but excellent jump in here. Oh, pick up your soldier. He's very, very low health. Pete, if that Uber had been flashed to him for just a moment, he probably could have stayed alive there. But looks like, nonetheless, um, I think Knights of the Apocalypse has the forward positioning they need. They just need to bring the intel in here. No, wait, they've already capped it. Oh, <laughs> derp. So, uh... No, they've already capped the intel, so that's that's why they had that forward position. That's why they were so aggressive. So they're pushing in now. Should be able to uh, get into this second point here, but whether or not they can actually um, capture this second point, that's up in the air, because this second point here on Harp is an extremely tough nut to crack. We've talked about it before, but it's just it's wild how impossibly difficult it is to capture it. Um, milk coming down here on Science, and of course that means anybody who does any damage to Science, the sniper, uh, gets some of that health back. That's the way the milk works. Um, wow, wow. Weird. Uh, do we have a Crits Creek going down? Or I I guess maybe it was just uh, Gerardi or something. But uh, yeah, so Skeet ended up just kind of uh, <clears throat> getting poked in the face there, Skeetor. So uh, here comes the Uber coming in. Um, good forward positioning here by the Medic, but he's actually losing his Uber target there because the Pyro did a very, very good job of air blasting that back. So S Dog here gets taken down. Um, and, and S Dog likes to walk in there. Oh, wow. Actually, I was going to say S Dog likes to get in forward positions and then just die. But uh, didn't matter this round because really, really quick cap there for uh, the Engineer. Just kind of snuck it in there around the right hand side. Jeff um, doing a very, very good job on offense as the Engineer. It was indeed a nice cap. Ringleader, the Medic for defense, even acknowledging that, wow, yeah. Uh, we just kind of got caught there uh, not paying attention, so good cap. <laughs> Nova mode, still gerotted from your sniper throwing at me before the match started, so uh, that's kind of interesting. I should have paid attention to it, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> so we've got, of course, this second point here to capture, and the sentry coming up here once again. Now, I like this sentry location. We're going to have to see if maybe uh, Knights of the Apocalypse adopts that for their second round because it's an extremely good location. I kind of like it. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're going to have to see which way they push out here. They're just kind of hanging around their medic for the moment. This is kind of a good thing to do as the match is, as the round is starting up. Hang around your medic so everybody can get that overheal as they go out the gate in Highlanders. It's, it's an extremely important thing to do, especially for these maps that give you a setup time. Um, Nova Mode has just rejoined the game, and my HUD was, was completely unloaded for that entire first match, so that's no good. But uh, I don't have the time to cast anymore tonight, and I want to get this game out there anyway, so we're going we're gonna to check that out nonetheless. Uh, we're just going to roll with it. Um, Scout came out there, bonked, I think, and, uh, 
So he was invincible, just trying to do as much as he could. That was kind of an interesting little uh, direct hit rocket there. We are watching the direct hit, but wow, is that actually the... Uh, is he using the fan? I, I can't tell. No, he's just using the regular scatter gun. But uh, Soldier here, Pete, just jumped off... Didn't jump off the edge, but he jumped up in the air and got scatter gunned off the edge. So fell off with the intel in hand. Um... Good Uber here by Ringleader, so he's going to keep his team alive defending this point. Um, well, actually, a really good headshot there from Science, so it takes out the Pyro, and that's going to be really important. Without the Pyro, of course, you're going to have a tough time um, blasting back any Ubers. Problem is, the Uber's just not ready for s Dog, so uh, they're going to take a long time to build that up there. But I think they know that with, uh, with the Demo, Pyro, and Sentry now down right now, they've got the opportunity to push in and just be really aggressive. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, they mostly hold this area. They hold the intel room. They just got to bring the intel up to it. So hopefully they get somebody to bring it in uh, soonish here. It is spawned right up here on this side. There you go. That's where it is. They're finally bringing it around. Yeah, so they've got a good cap time there. Uh, it's going to be about 3 minutes 44 seconds so far. Very, very quick offense here by Knights of the Apocalypse. We're seeing some good, good offense here. And the defense for Desolation Angels just crumbling a little bit. So uh, uh, it may once again all come down to that last point. Um, Uber comes in right now and it looks like Knights of the Apocalypse, or I'm sorry, Desolation Angels here on defense did not have an Uber of their own. Completely unready for this. Now a good headshot there on Corn, but it may not be enough a good spy pick there of course there's only two people remaining it's a medic and a spy right now so there you go blue seizes the area and an extremely quick capture time of four minutes and 30 seconds and 13 seconds and i've said extremely quite a bit but uh yeah, we're going to have to see if Knights of the Apocalypse can push it all the way to that last point and make that last cap go a lot faster than they did last time they couldn't catch last uh Oh, excuse me, couldn't catch last last time around. <laughs> Saying last way too many times, but it all comes down to this last map here. Um, map number three, can Desolation Angels pull off a really stunning defense of the last point once again? We're going to have to find out because uh, it was just amazing to watch how well they defended there. Especially, I think Knights of the Apocalypse may have just gotten a little bit uncoordinated. Maybe they were getting a little bit tired of, of all the, uh, the defense they'd done in the first round. <coughs> of course, they've been playing now for an extremely long time. So, maybe they'd just gotten tired and started, like, uh, walking to that sniper's view. But, yeah, I mean, there was just some extremely sick sniper picks in that uh, on that last map from Nova Mode. So, we'll have to see if he can go huge again. Or maybe uh, maybe we can just see them finally uh, figure out how to avoid that sniper just a bit. Looking here, this is where the announcer lady would sit. But uh, she's not sitting there right now. She has found another spot to go hang out. Dead Ringer Spy probably coming out here. No, he just cloaks up. Bonk Scout, though. Um trying to see where that sentry is. It is, of course, in the same location as before. It's a good sentry location. I do like it. Um, we've got uh, not a lot of people dying right now. Jeff died on offense. That's not going to be a huge deal. Looks like the Ubers are finally going to come out um, for both teams. And well, I like what the spy, by the way, is doing for life here. Um, trying to get all the way around to the last point just so he can go maybe uh, knock out the teleporter. But meanwhile, um, S-Dog has gone down with 20... I think he may have dropped Uber even. So he's he's got the Vitasol out. He does keep that 20% Uber, which is nice for him. But, of course, when you die... Um, it means you're not pushing forward with your Uber, and your team really needs that Uber. So 4Life coming in here. Looks like he may want to get a backstab. Does get the backstab. Um, ends up going down there, but he knocks down the Demo Man. That's, that's pretty important, of course. If you lose your Demo Man, you lose a lot of the ability to just uh, sticky spam an area and tell the enemy team they can't go that way. But there's a lot of good area denial coming in regardless for... Um, the, the half of the team right now that's up, but wow, lots and lots of people dying right now for... Um, for Desolation Angels. They've lost their Engineer. They've lost their Sentry location. So, looks like once again, just really strong offense here from Rise of the Apocalypse. Even when they don't have that Uber, they're pushing uh, Desolation Angels right back. So, uh, the, the DA team, the DESA team, um, getting pushed back to their last once again. A pretty quick capture time. In fact, an extremely quick capture time. 5 minutes and 30 seconds so far. So, <coughs> it once again, all comes down to this last point. Can Knights of the Apocalypse turn it around, tie it up, and bring in this, uh, oh my gosh, so, so dangerous there for S-Dog to just walk across. I uh, could have gotten a headshot there with that full Uber. But it looks like they're going to bring the Uber in from the right-hand side. So they're going to wait for the intel. Looks like the intel just walked across. Yep, here comes the Uber now. Only a level 2 sentry, but getting air blasted back, and the Wrangler goes up. So some damage came down on that sentry, but it's not quite enough. Um, and we do have... Uh, the Uber fading here. Now, uh, Knights of the Apocalypse has a good forward position. They're dealing some damage here, but they're not getting any kills so far. The first kill they finally get is Chris, so the Demo Man down once again. But uh, 
Uh, here comes a good rocket jump from our soldier here. Rise against and does manage to take down S-Dog. S-Dog just got caught a little bit too far forward there. Now Jeff running the Southern Hospitality, it looks like. <coughs> I do believe that's Southern Hospitality. So uh, he's going to be setting up a very good forward sentry here. Um, not using the Jag, which of course I have to disagree with using the Jag. Um, and we have... A good defensive setup, once again, for Desolation Angels. And yes, this is an extremely hard um, last point to capture. I do agree that just you just have to get so far forward and, and push through so much. You're so exposed here trying to push up here. It's ridiculous. But we'll have to see whether uh, Knights of the Apocalypse can actually manage to do it this time around. Their their last point offense really crumbled in the last, uh, last round. So... Here they go, they're pushing out and uh, trying to deal some sticky damage. Wow, their spy actually just took a really unlucky uh, rocket there, so I think um, I think they may know about him. Yeah, it looks like uh, the, the soldier up here found out that he was there, so yeah, that was just kind of unlucky for uh, the spy there from... Spy there from Knights of the Apocalypse. They're going to push in here pretty soon with 100% Uber, assuming that uh, S Dog does not get headshot again. So we'll have to see which way he tries to come in from. Uh, S Dog actually has picked up the intelligence, so he may be all the way back at. I don't know where he is, in fact, right now. He doesn't. There we go. He's given it to Jeff. So Jeff, the engineer, currently holding on to it. Not a good idea ever, really, to be holding on to the intel as the medic. Um, <coughs> Buff Banner kind of prematurely sort of popped there. Uh, it means that they're going to push really far forward here, though and hopefully just get some kills. They took out Tuna Fish, who was holding the intel at the time, but no oh no! Nova Mode makes him drop once again! Nova Mode is just going huge on the sniper here on this last point. S-Dog um, really needs to start thinking about popping those Ubers a little bit earlier when he walks out there. I know it's it's extremely important to hold on as much as possible, but just the, the highly defended sniper positioning here means that he's getting some extremely awesome picks and ability to pick off the blue team, so they just need to Uber a little bit sooner I think, and find a way to stop that sniper from headshotting the medic, because dropping Uber means, of course, that uh, they don't get it to get in there and do the damage. They're going to have to wait about a minute to build up their next Uber, and that's just uh, another minute that... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, another minute that once again... Um, Desolation Angels gets to hold on to their point. Only about five minutes left for them to cap. Of course, if they had taken a very long time to uh, to capture the first two rounds, uh, they would have a lot longer, but the time just doesn't actually carry over from round to round, and that's what the stream chat told me, that, uh, that the time does not carry over between rounds, unlike on Dust Bowl. So, you know, whereas on Dust Bowl, they might have like 20 minutes right now to push in and cap. That's just not what's going to happen here. And once again, it looks like KA just kind of walking around these corners and just saying, yes, please headshot me. Um, I, I like to die, so now they've got to pick that intel up and walk it back. Um, the Uber is at 100% right now for S-Dog. They have picked up the intel and walked it back over to the right-hand side, and uh, looks like the spy was trying to walk over here and, and just get some damage put in. Oh, man, Pete the Plumber trying to jump in and do some work there, but gets taken out. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, my gosh, could have been headshot there again. He did manage to walk by and be okay here, but they want to uh, kind of heal up, and uh, this is a good forward position that they have here. If, oh, apparently there's a spy back here, but uh, I think he's been taken out, so not a lot happening. Um, but the engineer is down right now, so if they can push in, this is when they want to do it. Here they go. They're pushing in. Um, they, they're dealing a lot of damage to the sentry, I think, right now, just trying to kill as many people as possible. The, the Uber is getting flashed pretty well here for the defense. But there you go. Oh, wow. Ten-minute capture time for Knights of the Apocalypse. They finally managed to cap that intel. Well done to Knights of the Apocalypse there. And now the Desolation Angels have their work cut out for them. Um, their first round capture was, of course, 16 minutes and 30 seconds, which was insane, guys. So they're going to have to step it up on offense here if they want to be able to capture in time and prevent it from going into a third round tiebreaker round. So once again... Knights of the Apocalypse setting up here on defense. Let's see what they're doing. First thing he sets up is the dispenser, of course. Then here comes the sentry. Very, very standard stuff here going on. So we are waiting pretty much to see how the offense goes for Desolation Angels. It is, of course, 1-0 right now. If Desolation Angels can manage to cap this entire three maps in under... 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes, which is really weird. But uh, in under 10 minutes, then they will win the game. If not, then it uh, looks like uh, Knights of the Apocalypse are going to stay in it. So this is getting exciting, guys. We're going to have to see. It's going to be a very, very quick capture time that they need. So here we go. Going to see what happens as they walk out the doors here. Um, 
Nothing happening yet. Not a lot of kills. The spy just now walking back over here. Going to decloak. Um, but he gets found out real fast. So for life, not really going to be able to do a lot there. The Heavy and everybody else from uh, Desolation Angels doing a very good job of just checking for that spy. The obvious hiding spots. Finding them and taking them out. <coughs> Tuna Fish was out there doing a lot of damage. Just trying to poke at the flanks a little bit and delay this push for as long as possible. And he did. He did a lot of damage to Chris right now. Chris at 24 health, unable to push in really effectively. Um, he's trying to hop over here and say, come on, Doc, heal me up. There we go. He finally gets the heals that he needs. So blue team pushing in to the right-hand side. <coughs> and it all comes down to whether or not their Uber can t knock out this sentry location. Um, Spy here doing a good job. He took a little bit of damage, but he's going to be walking around. Um, hopefully he can. There we go. Picks up a little bit of health. Picks up the ammo as well. So we're going to watch and see if the Spy can get in here and maybe take out the uh, sentry or just kind of sap it so that the Uber can push in here. This is what they. This is really good coordination, I think, by the blue team. Um, they may pop the Uber first or second, but oh, wow. Uh, Hugh goes down to a headshot from Nova mode. So if, if there's any time for them to push, it's going to be now. Lots of damage coming in on the sentry. It's getting repaired really quickly, though, so they need to get an Uber in here. The Spy is still being behind their lines. I don't know if he's here. It looks like he's going to um, decloak here pretty quickly. Yeah, the Uber comes in. So here, we're going to probably watch the spy decloak really fast. Um, try to try to take out as much as he can. I don't see him. Looks like, here we go. Uh, he does set the sappers down. So yeah, there we go. Those sappers really help take out that sentry really quickly. Um, blue team here, of course, not able to push in quite yet. Oh, good air blast reflect there, keeping the rocket from dealing a, a heck of a lot of damage to the entire team. So, <coughs> Knights of the Apocalypse really doing well on defense right now. Um, but they've got to get that sentry reset, and of course, the the longer they wait to do that, the more likely it is for blue team to push in here and cap. Very, very close to capturing with that rocket jump right there, but he ended up getting taken down. Um, so once again, nice of the apocalypse. Holding out for two minutes so far, the longer they delay on this first point, the better off they'll be. It looks like they probably will be able to hold out at this rate and bring it to 1-1. One, one. So that's going to be really amazing to watch. Um, but, oh, wow, actually a lot of a lot of people dying right now. Collide went down, the Uber comes in, and S-Dog did not have his Uber ready. So S-Dog, oh, what are you doing? Didn't have the Uber. He was at 90% and just, <coughs> once again, peeked around that corner. So no good, man. Um... He really should have been just a little bit further back behind there. I'm not sure. Maybe he didn't realize his team was just all uh, falling back. So now he does have the 20% left over from the Vitasaw. The Vitasaw is, of course, allowed in UGC. So he's making full use of that, um, keeping his 20%. Of course, a lot of people will uh, will prefer to have the Uber Saw out. But in, in really close matches like this where you expect the medic to maybe die a lot, that Vitasaw is of vital importance. Bringing the intel up now. So... Uh, <coughs> Desolation Angels is still in it, but they've got to get past this second point, which is a very difficult thing to do. Sentry's um, only level 1, though, so if anything, they can probably push in as soon as they get that Uber. Maybe the Sentry will only be level 2. Um, good forward hold there as much as possible for... Uh, who was that soldier? I always forget the names, but uh, the soldier of Pete just trying to stop it from coming in. The Uber's in, though. Um, good air blast there, but S-Dog, once again, only at about 90%. Um, the Sentry is wrangled. Can it Oh, wow, can these guys stay alive for long enough? Finally, the Uber gets up. Wow, excellently timed Uber there. Going to shut down this push. Only six and a half minutes left to go for Blue Team, and they're going to need to find a way to get in there and cap that intel really fast, or else this is going to go 1-1. One, one. Only four people left up right now for uh, Red Team, so they could try to push in here, but a big spawn wave coming in. Wow, actually, Nipsey Russell trying to get in there and, and get a spy cap, but he got taken down. So they get the spawn wave. Looks like everybody's going to be ready to go. Just some spam coming in here, but uh, our soldier for blue team gets gerotted, gets covered in piss. Never a fun thing to do. Um, I know that, of course, I hate being smelly and disgusting. Uh, it does not make me take me any, any more damage in real life, of course. Um, but in this game, of course it does, and so he had to back off there or else risk getting taken down really fast. Nova Mode gets taken down by some good rockets from Pete, so that's going to be uh, the sniper capabilities temporarily lost for blue team. And this has been such a long game, very difficult to uh, to to keep casting the whole thing, if, because of course Harp is an extremely long uh, and difficult map to push. But looks like it's going to go to a third round, guys, unless they can just get some really clutch, really fast caps here on this first map. Um, only five and a half minutes left to get five points. That's one minute per cap, or just a little bit over. And uh, I, I'm not sure if Blue Team can do it, so it's it's probably going to go to a third round here, guys. It's going to be a tiebreaker. Um, the intel is stuck here right now, getting stickied, so of course uh, it's going to be very difficult for this team. Actually doing a good job of having the heavy there, uh, knock out a lot of those stickies but there's still some sitting around the corner. So, uh, playing a little bit forward with their medic. Now, I think Desolation Angels has done a good job of protecting their medic. 
Oh, wow, that sticky trap could very nearly have... Uh... Wow, I like that play. Did you guys see that? The demo man deliberately dropped the intel just by pressing normally the default key, I think, is L, but deliberately dropped the intel so he could take that uber and run in and try to deal as much damage as possible. Now, I, I don't think that this is going to be quite enough here, um, but only three left up for Knights of the Apocalypse. A lot of their team dead right now. They're going to actually, I think this is going to go to Desolation Angels here. They're going to get in here and cap it. Four minutes and 35 seconds left to cap the last two maps. That is going to be very, very difficult to do, but I, I don't know, guys. Um... Where they got stopped, I think, in the first round was really just that first cap, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to see here if Knights of the Apocalypse can manage to hold out um, for that four minutes that they need. Of course, four minutes, a very, very difficult capture time to get. So Desolation Angel is going to be sitting here saying, all right, guys, what can we do to capture really, really fast? <coughs> this is some extremely intense stuff right now. So... Um, if they cannot basically insta-cap this map, it's probably going to go to Knights of the Apocalypse, going to go to a tiebreaker round. We will have to see, guys. I'm excited about whether Desolation Angels can bring this to a 2-0 in four minutes. If they could, that would be amazing and legendary, and we would sing their praises forever. Now, while we're waiting here... Um, just got to say the records of these two teams real fast. Um, after this game, um, Desolation Angels is at 6-1 and one at the top of their division right now in the UGC Summer League, and Knights of the Apocalypse is at 4-2. and two. But of course, that doesn't give you guys intel on which team won this round. So uh, Desolation Angels at 1-0 right now, but they are looking like they have their work cut out for them if they want to bring it to 2-0 and actually win. Of course, it's whichever team wins two stopwatch rounds first. So... Uh, doesn't leave a lot of room for ties there, really. Looks like, uh, so far, Rise Against was trying to get in there and deal some damage. Didn't manage to do a lot, but where's the sentry? It's actually just sitting there in the intel room. It's not the greatest location for that sentry, because, of course, you bring the uber up, and it's very easy to knock it out. But uh, let's see where the uber goes. The longer they wait to uber in, of course, the, uh, <coughs> the longer that clock's ticking down. Just now getting under four minutes here for um, Desolation Angels to push in and cap all four of these points. They get Uber, they get Jiradied, so is the Uber going to go down? Is it? Is it? Oh my god, they got an Uber in here. They've got to take out this sentry. There they go. They finally get it in. Counter Uber popped by the Pyro. Very, very well played here to pop that medic and, uh, oh wow, just popping him into the corner here. He's not going to get out of that. Not at all. Don't go straight down as soon as the Uber finishes. So wow, only three and a half minutes left here for Desolation Angels to push in. This is almost certainly going to go to a tiebreaker round. This is some exciting stuff, guys. Um, Desolation Angels here. They're gonna they're gonna make a desperation angel move and try to push out and try to cap in three and a half minutes every single point here. But I'm not sure if that is even going to be possible uh, with the intel respawns and all that. Oh, <laughs> tries to jump up on there and keep the intel on the roof. But I'm actually not sure why he was doing that because it's, it's of course staying up there means it's harder for uh, Desolation Angels to grab it and just sneak it in. But yes, yeah, sneaking it in is not really going to happen with this kind of setup. Uh, we're gonna have to see here. Looks like uh, blue team. With 50% Uber now, they're still charging it up, and they're still kind of waiting. They, they can't really push in. They're Jiradied right now. If they do try to push in, it's going to be very, very... Um a very bad idea, I think. Even some good air blasts to keep, the, uh, keep that sentry and keep everybody alive for as long as possible. So... I think blue team is basically just going to try and push in here with the uber and get that cap, but it's probably not going to happen, guys. Probably not. Now, of course, weirder things have happened. Um, so, we'll have to see. We will have to see... Nice of the Apocalypse here, going to do a good job here of defending on uh, on this Uber 2. 2 minutes 24 seconds left. Um, the intel is kind of sticking around the side here. If they could push it in, uh, they could actually sneak in there and, oh my gosh, can they sneak it in here? Onto the point. Oh, so close! Uh, only 2 left up here for Knights of the Apocalypse, so actually they could get this capture. <coughs> but it's going to take another 10 or 15 seconds for the intel to respawn so they can bring it to that last point. And of course, you can't just walk onto the point. You have to walk onto the point with the intel to capture it. So two minutes left to capture three points. That's going to be really, really insane. We're going to have to see whether uh, Desolation Angels can push in here. Now, they do have a big uber advantage because uh, S-Dog went down. Hasn't even gone up yet. Lots and lots of people uh, taking a lot of damage. Corn and Collide have already gone down. Science is down now as well. Uh, Pete finally dies, and we're going to see probably a lot of damage on that heavy. S-Dog gets stabbed back over here. So, whoa, guys. Um... Uh, I was going to say that this was just a write-off, but looks like Desolation Angels here. A minute and 38 left to cap the last map. Uh, and, of course, that does not start until the 60-second timer counts down here for uh, starting the round. So they're still in it, guys. A minute and 38 seconds left, but if they can get just some super-fast cap times on this last point here... Um, 
<coughs> I think Desolation Angels might actually be able to go 2-0. It's just going to be ultra clutch if they do. So, Sentry once again going down in this very forward position. It is probably going to get taken down by some demo spam um, coming in from this right side or even from the left if they just walk along this glass. <coughs> so, it is in a very, very exposed location. I'm not sure if I like the location of that Sentry just because of how much damage it can take. But of course it can deal a lot of damage too. You can never underestimate the ability of a sentry to just deal a heck of a lot of damage. We're probably going to see an uber walk right out of the gate. Um, if they don't uber immediately, then they're only going to have time for one uber in a minute and 38 seconds. So I think they're probably going to uber right away, walk out here maybe with a demo man and try and uh, just knock down the sentry while they sneak that intel in somewhere. But a heavy and a soldier standing on the capture zone right now, so it's going to be very, very difficult for them to sneak in. Um, <coughs> scout kind of wandering around and he looks like he, he just wants to hang around here and, and just pop um, deal a little bit of damage but he does get taken down by tuna fish good scout DM there uber's not been popped yet only a minute left to go here so basically this is the only uber they get um, they're gonna walk in and they, it is gonna be a good uber they're probably gonna take out a lot of stuff oh no ringleader drops uber to Pete the plumber I think that's gonna be it guys I think that it's gonna go to 1-1 I think Knights of the Apocalypse actually has this under control they did pop the uber but they've got everybody up standing here so wow guys that was such a clutch play Pete the plumber jumping in and making their enemy drop the uber they probably should have just popped it right out the gate and seen if they could do anything with it <coughs> too late now though um, the sentry is actually, oh no, I'm sorry, the sentry is still quite up for red team. So only 40 seconds left to go. It's almost assuredly going to go to a third round, and my voice is going to just die. Oh, I'm, already, uh, I'm already feeling it, guys. So this third round is going to be intense. It's going to be epic. We're going to have to see whether Knights of the Apocalypse or Desolation Angels can win it. Um, but basically, this round is over. So you're going to have to tune into the third round to see. And uh, it's, man, these harp matches have been extremely long, but intense the whole way through. So I've really enjoyed casting them. <clears throat> Just getting a cute little attempt at a backstab there, but this ma this round is over. Knights of the Apocalypse have won on defense here. They've done a really, really strong defense, um, and it was just such a quick capture time. Ten minutes there, they managed to sneak that cap onto the point. So there you go, guys. Knights of the Apocalypse bringing it to 1-1, so we're going to come back with round three. Check that video out.